Hello everybody, welcome to Serving's Kitchen with a Cause. My guest today, Robin Giles. We go way back. Yes, we do. A long time. Long time. We went to church together, and probably the most important thing that she did in my life was she and her husband gave me and my wife our marriage counseling before we got married. And we had the same anniversary date. We had date. the same anniversary. So every anniversary I'm thinking about you guys. I think about you. Yep. So we're connected in that way. But today, that's not what it's about. Today, it's about what? Uh, cooking and uh, guessing what we're going to cook. Yes. <laughs> And we're also going to be talking about the, the pantry, pantry yeah. and the care place. Yes, yes. Yes. So both, we'll talk about both of those. Uh, but as you know, if you've seen this show, we do do some cooking. I love to cook. Oh, me too. Well, then I'm going to put you to work. Okay. But we have to reveal what we're cooking first, okay. right? You have no idea. No. So we have under here, under our beach towel of deception is what we call it, uh, our ingredients, and I'll reveal them to you and give you a chance to try to guess. Okay. Are you ready for this? I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll help you out if you can't figure it out. Okay. There we go. And mm. I, there's probably one thing you won't really recognize, but this is just like uh, chopped up chicken. Oh, okay. So from these ingredients, I determine what we're going to make. Yes. Okay. And I'll give you a hint, there are two recipes. Oh, so we're going to make two items today. Yes. Okay. Well, we have chicken, we have onions, eggs. Okay. Um, carrots, garlic, broth. She's working hard. Okay. Flour. We got some sugar. So I'm assuming we may make a dessert. Yes. And uh, with chocolate chips. So I'm going to go for cookies. Close. Close. I'll throw this in there too. Oh, cocoa. All right. Um, Hmm. We're doing the easiest brownies oh, you've good. ever made. All right. That's what the recipe says. We'll okay. find out. Okay. Well, then we have the carrots. I saw that. Um, chicken, like a casserole or a, 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 I'm thinking a chicken casserole or a pot pie. Here's another good uh, yeah. hint. Hint. Okay. Um, maybe I'm not doing as well as I thought I was. <laughs> but you got the chicken part <laughs> yes, right. I do. Chicken stew, uh, chicken pot pie, chicken stew. Stew um, is close. We're doing chicken, chicken and orso pasta soup. Okay. Now the reason why we're doing doing these is we always try to tie in our recipes to the organization that we have on. Okay. And today it's the pantry. So we're cooking from the pantry. The pantry. That's awesome. These are all items that you you may or may not have, you know, in your pantry or your refrigerator. Ah, uh, yes. The chicken is actually a rotisserie chicken that had been purchased and, okay. you know, ate on, you know, the chicken a little bit. You always have leftover chicken. Over. I mean, I yeah. don't know about you guys, but we always have leftover chicken. So you can chop it up and use it in a soup. Uh, onions, you always have onions. You got the sugar, you got the flour. All these items are pretty common in a pantry. Yes. So today we're doing the chicken and orso soup and the easiest brownies you've ever cooked. Hey, I'm hungry. Well, let's get started then. Okay. We'll be right back. All right, we're set up to do our brownies first because they'll take a little bit longer to cook than our soup. Uh, by the time the brownies are done, our soup will be almost ready and we can eat everything together. Sounds great. Yes. All right, so the recipe says it's the easiest brownies you've ever made. Okay. And you make it all in the pan. Oh, that's smart. There's not a mixing bowl or anything like that. You don't even mix up the eggs before you okay. put them in the pan. Wow. So we're going to try to follow this recipe to a T. Uh, we're going to start with putting in a half a cup of the oil. So okay. if you'll find the half a cup, we'll pour that in there and kind of, yep. yeah, on the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll kind of swash it around to coat okay. the bottom and the sides. And then we'll be adding our dry ingredients, which will be the sugar, the flour, cocoa powder, and salt. Okay, ready? Yep. And then I'll swash that around a little okay, bit. I'll just dip put this one to the side. You can just put it in there for okay. now. Okay. <clears throat> this will help keep our brownies from sticking to the side. I don't want to spill it, so I'll be as careful as I can. I'm really interested in this because yeah. to make it in the pan yes. that you're going to bake it, it in. It kind of scares me great. a little bit. 
Okay. All right, so then we're gonna do one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar, okay. which is back there. I have a huge bag of sugar. That'll take me forever to use. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> I actually bought it for uh, a costume for Halloween. Okay. I put I'm it not, in a. Do I ask? I put it in a baby carrier and that I held in front of me, <laughs> and I was a sugar daddy. <laughs> it was fantastic. Okay. It was one of those where you had to figure it out, you know. Yeah. It was a cerebral oh, type okay. thing. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do three quarter cup of all purpose flour. Three quarter cup. And cups. this should be uh, enough. If it's not, we have another bag. Oh, okay, <clears throat> okay. Okay, whoop, nope. We we do a quarter, a quarter three times, yep, yes. that's true. Math. Mm. Looking okay. good there. Uh, Let's see. We'll be doing One. half a cup of this. Two. And yes, we do have enough. Awesome. Three. All right. And I'll take that. Oh, okay. I'm going to add a couple of these quarters of the cocoa powder to get a half a cup of the cocoa powder. Do you ever use dark chocolate, dark cocoa? I have. It's awesome. Yes, I do love dark chocolate. All right, we're going to do just about a half teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. And we can mix that up just a little bit with the spatula. And we are going to add two eggs. Okay. Awesome. Is that good enough? Yep. Try to be careful. Yeah, this is, see, this is the weird part for me. I'm used to mixing up the eggs and the, the wet ingredients in a separate container. Yeah. And that beeping is our oven. It is ready at 350 for our uh, okay. ingredients. Do we need any other liquid? We do, we need a couple, I think, a, yep, a couple tablespoons of water. So I will add that. One and two. And then we can stir that up. It says stir well, so you stir can kind of crack the, the yolks yeah. there, break the yolks up. And it says stir for about one or two minutes. Oh, okay. That'll get it all incorporated. Just. And we're also gonna add in our chocolate chips while we're getting all this incorporated. Okay. Now it says to add about a half a cup. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna kinda eyeball it. Oh yeah. I'll let you know when you get it right. <laughs> <laughs> and it says save a little bit if you wanna top it. That yeah, should be good right really there. Blending well. Yeah, it takes a minute, but it's really. Yeah, I just saves a little bit of the the washing dishes. Yeah, part of the because end. Um, yeah, you know, you really know when I've been in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when I'm baking, there's flour uh, everywhere. I mean, I leave evidence everywhere. So while you're getting that out, all mm -hmm. incorporated. Tell me about how you became affiliated with the pantry and the care place. Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, I had met uh, Frank uh, several years ago. And Frank is uh, in charge of the He is the executive thing. director of a, a nonprofit organization called Life Tools Community Development. Okay. And um, so um, when Ty and I, Ty is my husband, uh, we were at uh, Church of Chapel Hill and had been there for just a while. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, one day while I'm at home, I get a phone call and um, I wasn't expecting anything, but it was um, Frank. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it at the time. I thought, uh, I thought it was an insurance adjuster <laughs> uh, because uh, someone had um, come in contact with my vehicle uh, and yes. uh, kind of left the scene. Mm -hmm. Didn't let me know. So uh, I thought it was that, but it, he, uh, you know, 
let me know that it was him, and uh, he approached me about a position, uh, an administrative, you know, uh, position. Mm -hmm. And so I went and interviewed, and you know, the rest is what we say is history. Awesome. You know, so what? And how long ago was it that? It was. Um, August will be six years because okay. I uh, went to work for him just prior to the opening of the care place. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I think we've got it in Yeah, company. that looks great. Yum, yum. So I'm going to get this kind of evened out here. And I'm going to top, if it's okay with oh, you. go for it. I'm going to top it with a little yeah. bit of chocolate extra. chips. I'm, I'm you extra. Know. I've been told I'm extra. So, <laughs> you know. And sweet, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Better sweet. That's why. <laughs> those are those sweet. Sweet, sweet better sweet. <laughs> yeah, these, these are the sweet ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's ready to go in the oven, 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Um, and before we put this in there, tell me a little bit about the pantry and what oh, you guys do. Okay. Uh, well, I can start with the beginning, I guess, mm -hmm. if you would like. That's sure. a good place to start. Absolutely. Um, Whenever um, Pastor Dave and Church of Chapel Hill, you know, were started, mm -hmm. um, Pastor Dave had a passion for the hungry, mm -hmm. and uh, Pam and Frank Smith had moved here to assist with the church, and it mm -hmm. wasn't long till, you know, they just knew that's where the strong right. connection was going to be. So the pantry launched in 2001 out of the ministry center of Church of Chapel Hill. So okay. it's basically a small closet within, um, you know, at the beginning stages, they serve two to three families a week. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are, 2019. You know, to fast forward, uh, we're now located in our own building just off Highway 5. It's a 3,500 square foot building. Mm -hmm. And last year we served uh, around 35,000 people. Wow. But in partnership with nine other organizations, we fed over 135,000. That is amazing. It is totally, From humble beginnings yes, to that. Totally, because, you know, just the growth from uh, the ministry center to a location in downtown Douglasville, then uh, partnering with Crossroads for mm -hmm. several years. Right. And then uh, whenever we had the opportunity to get this building, um, mm -hmm. it's just... Uh, just to see how mm -hmm. it all works, it's amazing. It really, right. really is. And I tell people that um, Pam and Frank have their hearts with appendages, you know, yeah. that because they just really mm -hmm. uh, love community outreach. That's been their life. It really has. If you go back and understood, they've worked with Team Challenge. They worked on reservations. Mm -hmm. uh, just they've done so much community outreach um, mm -hmm. in their adult lives. Yeah. And uh, we, we actually have a show airing right now, and it's uh, mostly about the pantry. Okay. Um, and I know Pastor Frank was talking about, you know, all the, the series of miracles, basically, that, that yeah. have, has helped the pantry get to where it is. Mm -hmm. um, having your own refrigerated truck. Totally. And donations just out of the blue. It is amazing. And he just is so great within the community, mm -hmm. you know, because you, you work with uh, civic organizations, you work with churches, just uh, county leaders, mm -hmm. you know, it's just amazing. But one of the things that I saw recently that happened, there's two things, but um, we do, we operate so much uh, because of donations of people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, of course, the volunteers each week, right. but um, we needed a forklift. Mm -hmm. the, the one we had just uh, gave up the ghost, so yeah. to speak. And within 48 hours, there was $25,000. Wow. That had been brought in through donations. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's paid for. Yeah. You know, it's, it's amazing. And another story that recently happened is uh, the pantry has an opportunity, had an opportunity, and now is still, it's still in works. Um, where uh, the pantry is working with Habitat for Humanity. Mm -hmm. um, it was an outreach opportunity for the church and uh, the veteran that was uh, lined up to uh, move into the home mm -hmm. that Habitat for Humanity was building, um, uh, he just had some changes. So uh, it was a blessing on his side, right. but he 
could no longer qualify uh, for the home. And mm -hmm. Pastor Frank immediately thought of this family in our church, mm -hmm. um, Keith and Corey Wilson. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar oh, yeah. with them. Yep. And you know his story yes. then, uh, but for those who may not be aware, uh, he is a, a, a military veteran, uh, Operation Desert Shield, Operation Desert Storm, from that law enforcement for approximately 10 years. And then he began to have some physical problems, mm -hmm. uh, renal failure, needed a kidney, his sister was a match. Yeah. But in Pastor Frank reaching out to him, you know, he said, would you be interested? So you go through all the steps, they become eligible for the home. Mm -hmm. And I had an opportunity to uh, be there at the dedication and Keith uh, shared with me the other day, the closing is at the end of this month and the pantry is going to stock That's great. Uh, as a, as a, uh, a, a Housewarming kind of like, yes, a yeah. housewarming, thank you. Housewarming gift, uh, the refrigerator, the freezer, the pantry, the cupboards, mm -hmm. whatever they need to right. have uh, food, the pantry's gonna do that. That's so great. that's just beautiful, you know, to yeah. see those things, mm -hmm. it's awesome. Yeah, you know, you, you hear about them and you talk about them, but to see them is, totally. is a totally different thing. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a blessing, it really is. So the pantry's doing great things in our community. If someone wants to volunteer or donate, yes. how can they get in touch with you? Okay, they can call me at 770-489-5990 and ask to speak with Robin normally Tuesday through Thursday, or you can email me at robin at lifetoolscdc.com. Awesome, and if there are people out there who need food, how, how does that process Okay, go? The pantry is open every Saturday. Uh, we see our first customer at nine, our last customer signs in at 11.30. Anyone can come to the pantry and get food. Um, we are closed on major holidays and anytime there's a fifth Saturday in the month, but uh, just, you know, every Saturday, you know, come, like I said, we don't turn people away. And, um, you know, you will walk away with uh, an abundance mm -hmm. of food and you will be loved on mm -hmm. and you will be served and it's just just a great you know it's just a great thing yeah and they're located on highway five if you know where the old blockbuster was you turn right there the kentucky fried chicken it's behind the kentucky fried yes. chicken so if you need food check them out on a saturday if you want to volunteer make sure you contact robin Yes, and one thing, just to give you an example of what you may get, sometimes I go and I volunteer on Fridays in preparation mm -hmm. for Saturday, and when the when the refrigerated truck comes in, there's so many grocers in the community that are involved in donating, and when I see the dairy, when I see uh, the meats, mm -hmm. You know, when I see the produce, it's mm -hmm. not like you're just going to walk away right. with canned, canned goods, items. Yeah. You're going to walk away with those things that you can prepare meal. Right. That's what it's about. Yeah. Well, we are going to talk more about the pantry and the care place. Uh, but right now, we need to get these brownies in the oven so we can eat them eventually. Uh, they look ready now. They, yes. they look fantastic. <laughs> I guess we should cook the egg part. Yeah, though. I think yeah. so. All right, so we're gonna get these in the oven 350 for about 25 or 30 minutes. When we come back, we're gonna get the soup ready. Our brownies are almost done. Ready? We got about three minutes or so, so we'll pull those out whenever the timer goes Sounds off. Sounds good. We're gonna start our soup, and yeah. the first thing we need to do is chop up some vegetables. Uh, we're gonna have onion, uh, celery, carrot, and then some garlic. The garlic's already minced, it's in here. I already cut up an onion, it needs half of an onion. Okay. I'll cut up the celery. Okay. And what we want to do is shred a carrot. Okay. So we've got the grater or grate a carrot. Okay. So you can start on that. I'll get this going. This is a relatively easy recipe to do. Um, once again, we're using stuff that's in the pantry or the refrigerator mm -hmm. you'd find. Uh, on a regular basis. Um, and just because we're using these ingredients doesn't mean you have to use them at home. You can use pretty much whatever you want. Now, have you made this before? This particular one, no. 
but I have done this type of thing oh, where okay. I uh, c sort of clean out the fridge. Gotcha. And just add all the, the vegetables that we have eaten over the past week. Now that's a smart thing to do. Yeah. It's a good way to hide them too so your kids will eat them. Totally. How's that going over there? It's going well. I'm actually wondering how many kitchens in America now have graters. Yeah. I have the one that my mother used when I was a little girl. So wow. uh, it's a probably hand -me -down. yeah, antique. <laughs> you beat me. Oh. I've got this uh, pot over here heating up. Okay. And I'm gonna saute the vegetables for about eight minutes or so. That's okay. what the recipe says, but basically until they're a little soft. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil over here and add the vegetables in. Oh, see that sounds oh, great. yes, love it. Thank you so much for the carrots. Got that, and then I'm gonna add, what's it at, one clove of garlic. And I always tell her when I use my, my daughter's old baby forks, because it will strain out oh, the liquid. Oh, smart, okay. And just dump that in, and it's about one clove. The brownies are ready. All right. I'm gonna get this stirring just a little bit, and then take the brownies out. Smells good already. It does. Onions are one of my favorite things. Oh yeah, very aromatic. There's our brownies. Yum, yum. Oh, they're looking good. Hey. Whew. All right, so those can cool off while we're doing our soup. And while we get this, this these uh, vegetables softened a little bit, Tell us about the care place. Oh, okay. Uh, whenever I first went to work for Life Tools, that was basically one of my focuses at first was the, the care place. The care place was established. It'll, uh, we'll be celebrating our six year anniversary in August of this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are in partnership with Douglas Wellstar. Okay. Okay, so that's great. Yes. And Dr. James Lance is our medical director and then Frank serves as the executive director. Okay, so you got your medical side and the administrative yes, side working together. Yes, I'm more the administrative uh, side, um, but then, you know, we do have our medical side. We have several doctors from Wellstar, could use some more. Uh, we have several uh, nurse practitioners, registered mm -hmm. nurses. When you come to the care place, um, or when a patient comes, it is like walking into a doctor's office. You're going to get that type of treatment and care. There. Wow. Yeah, it's great. Um, we serve any, uh, pardon me, we um, treat people, primary care needs, uh, things such as uh, hypertension, high cholesterol, diabetes, anxiety, mm -hmm. things of that, anything pretty much you would see a primary care physician for. Okay. Yeah, any testing that needs to be done is done at Douglas Wellstar by our orders and at this time, those testings that we order and done there are free to the patient. Wow, that's great. Yes. That yes. is amazing. You yes. can't find that in yes. every community. That is for Douglas County residents 18 and older okay. who are uninsured. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and qualify. If they come to you and they've got something that you guys can't handle, do you do referrals and that type um, of thing? At this time, uh, we do have uh, one specialist mm -hmm. who assists with um, cataract procedures, mm -hmm. but uh, we're definitely open mm -hmm. for any other specialist that would like to partner with us and help our patients. Um, and if you do have someone listening who yes. wants to help out, how, how do they get in touch with uh, you? There again, they would uh, contact me at 770-489-5990, ask to speak with Robin. I can also be emailed at robin at lifetoolscdc.com. Um, and again, there is a qualification process for those um, who are uninsured. They fall, um, the qualification is done at the Douglas County Health Department. Okay. And we usually do that the first Monday of the month 
in August it will be the second mm -hmm. um, and there is the um, a requirement that you fall within at least 200 percent of the federal poverty level okay. for the family household. Right, and I know a lot of the people that qualify, um, unfortunately, they, they they don't have a primary doctor right. because they don't have insurance. Right. So when they get sick, they go to the emergency room. Right, and, and we're then, trying to. So you're trying to yes. say, don't go there, that's come to us. The, that's one of the benefits of being in partnership mm -hmm. with Douglas Wellstar to help on that end mm -hmm. because of what we can do right. to keep the patients out of the ER and to keep those types of costs down. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it helps Wellstar as well. Totally, yes. It's, yes. it's good for them. So uh, anybody else who wants to come along if you're a doctor, nor nurse practitioner, definitely specialist. We could definitely use um, more providers and you're vetted through the state and I can assist you with that. Um, and it's a, just a very easy process. And, you know, if you want to just serve four hours uh, once a quarter, that would help us tremendously. Great, yeah. yeah. So you can kind of make your own schedule. Yes, definitely. Now, what other types of are you doing like dental and vision? We don't or? offer dental. Uh, we do, like I said, the specialist um, that helps with the cataract surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do, um, we're open uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. We have a uh, another group of nurse practitioners that assist us through the week to see so many of our patients. So uh -huh. uh, it really is... Um, easy to get in to be seen. Even mm -hmm. when our patients qualify at the beginning, you know, it was it took such a length of time to get everybody in and process them on Saturdays. Right. But now you're pretty much within if you're a new patient, you can pretty much get in within the first two weeks That's of great. qualification. That's great. Yeah, it's great. And you've got room to grow. Definitely, definitely uh, the blessing in that was a building that was donated mm -hmm. and it's three stories. Uh, it was um, a medical thing or it had some type of connection right uh, with that at the beginning and so we have exam rooms we mm -hmm. have five exam rooms uh, and um, it just it, it I wish I could just show you it just it, worked out perfectly it, you know and there again um, donations there mm -hmm. was a local bank that donated some furniture mm -hmm. and things like that so well, um, we were at the grand opening okay so yes. we got some footage of it okay so that's good. you know they're seeing it on okay, screen right now great. so they know you okay. know that it it was basically suited perfectly for you guys. It is. It, it, it really is. And again, we're celebrating six years. So I think that says a lot. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the community and the volunteers. Um, volunteering at the pantry mm -hmm. is easy. You can kind of set your own schedule. But right. the volunteers for the care place, we do ask for a little bit more consistency because right. you are operating as if you were a doctor's office. Right, right. And yeah. I know there are uh, the training privacy involved. issues yes, and that kind of thing. Yes, there's definitely issues uh, with mm -hmm. HIPAA and, um, you know, privacy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, but there's still an opportunity to help. Definitely. We've had some great long-term volunteers. That's awesome. It's been a huge success for our community yes. and uh, we hope that it grows and gets bigger and better uh, so that you guys can support even more of the health concerns for people who just don't have the insurance. Right. It makes a difference. Yeah. So our vegetables are just about ready so we will be able to add the other ingredients. This is very easy. Uh, we're going to add um, the uh, chicken, a bay leaf sprig of thyme, and our broth. Yep. So I will go ahead and add the chicken. Now it says do about three cups, and I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it in here. I like a lot of chicken in my soup. That looks pretty good. We've got a bay leaf. Use a nice big one so we can find it, cause you don't wanna eat <laughs> yeah. that. And a nice sprig of thyme. That looks great right there. Yes. And we're gonna add our broth. Okay. It says to add five cups. Um, what I typically do is add an entire box, mm -hmm. which is four cups. Yes. And then I will kind of eyeball with the other one and add what I think I will need to add. Some of it will evaporate. So I add just a little bit more than what I need. 
That looks probably so like enough to right cook, there. Huh? I love to cook. That's awesome. Yes, I've been cooking for years, and uh, for me, it's kind of another. It's another opportunity to buy toys. Oh yeah, you know, oh, because yeah. you got all the gadgets, gadgets and the machinery. I mean, I know. it's just. I was looking at that. I thought, can I have one? Yes. All right, we're gonna bring that up to uh, a simmer or a boil, drop it down to a simmer, and let it go for about 10 minutes or so. Okay. Uh, I've already cooked our Orso pasta, uh, which is something that's kind of a staple in our house. We keep a box of it in the, in the pantry. Um, if, you don't, if you don't have Orso and you have any kind of other pasta, you can add that rigatoni, penne pasta, whatever you want. Um, you want to cook it separately, and then add it at the very end That's because smart. it will continue to absorb the liquid right. and you don't want it to get mushy. Well, yeah, definitely. And you probably, well, I don't know if it would, the starch. Yeah, would yeah, and it will start to mm -hmm. leach out the starch yeah. and make the soup a little yeah. weird. So um, you can even make this ahead of time uh, and then freeze it mm -hmm. and then add your pasta after you thaw it and heat it up. Oh, okay. So it's something you can keep in the, in the freezer. So we're gonna let this go for about 10 minutes after it starts to boil. And when we come back, we're gonna be eating some soup hey, and brownies. Hey, best part. I'm starving. I'm ready to eat. Yes, we'll be right back. Bye. We got our food ready. Soup came out wonderfully. It's a little hot. Okay. Our brownies are nice and gooey. All right, Just best the way, way I like them. Yeah. If I can't pick them up like in one piece, yeah. that's perfect for me. So you can cook yours a little bit longer if you want. Uh, so what do you want to try first? The soup. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, yum, yum. It's hearty. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, to me it'd be perfect enough couple of more months, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, we're filming in July. <laughs> it is a little bit cooler today than it yeah. has been, but yeah, this would be a perfect fall or winter thing to do. Uh, it says comfort. Exactly. It does. But very good. And you know, you're using stuff out of the pantry, stuff that you need to use up, some leftover vegetables in the refrigerator. It's a perfect way to not have to throw away food. Definitely. All right, now we're going for the brownie. We're gonna dive in? Let's do it. Okay. I'm not even gonna try to pick it up. You wanna do smash face? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Brownies are always good. Oh yes. And I'm glad we added the little chocolate morsels to mm -hmm. the top. Just an extra little something. Oh, I can't wait to finish this. We're so very hungry. Neither one of us ate this morning. So one more time, okay. let's give them the contact information in case they want they want to volunteer okay. or donate or need assistance for the pantry and the care place. Okay, you can contact me. My name is Robin, 770-489-5990. Normally you reach me Tuesday through Thursday, nine to five. You can also email me at robin at lifetoolscdc.com. Awesome. So get involved. This, that's what this show's all about. We want you to do something great in your community, just like they're doing. The pantry, the care place. Robin, thank you so much for thank being you. on the show. So fun. Yes, it's great having someone on who knows how to cook, so I don't have to worry about you cutting your fingers off. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> yes. So we'll see you next month on Servings Kitchen with a Cause.